One of the great things that our church has taken on board are some of the, we could say, ceremonies that um, as we moved from an Old Testament into a, into a New Testament uh, phase, that uh, in the Old Testament God's people came together for special occasions, for special events, and uh, truly celebrated that oneness and that experience with God. And uh, of course we don't have those festivals anymore on those occasions but uh, God has given to us something very special in baptism in our communion services that we have and uh, what we are doing today is an ordination service another one of those very special occasions and each of these in their own way help to remind us that in the busy world in which we live today, the activities of everything around us can so easily blot out the presence and the awareness of God. And we come to these occasions as a time to, to pause, a time to reflect, but also a time in the very weakness of our humanity. Ellen White speaks of the one qualification that we have to come to God and that is our need. And it's occasions like this when we uh, send, shall we say, uh, a, a husband and wife today on the, the journey that is going to consume them for the rest of their life that we realise that we need something outside of ourself. And that's the anointing of the Spirit of the living God. And so we have come to that time now when uh, we are going to kneel here together and by the laying on of hands seek in a very personal way God's special blessing. Uh, upon this couple and so we would invite you Frank and Lynn to uh, come come forward uh, up here and uh, we would also uh, invite uh, all the ordained uh, pastoral staff that we have with us today if you would all like to come forward uh, for this very special occasion thank you Don't be worried, folks. We're not going to lay hands on Lynn, but she's here beside him. <laughs> I, said, I said that money for Lynn's benefit because I could see her face. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, loving and gracious Father in heaven, Lord, today we come to you as the all-wise, all-knowing, all-powerful, all-present God. We come, Father, because of a, a confidence that has come as we've walked this journey down through the valleys and up over the mountain tops, where we've sensed your power and your peace and your presence with us. And Lord, the journey for Frank and Lynn has been uh, one, as Ben has said, it's been uh, a journey where they have been persistent. It's been a journey, Father, where they have many times reached out their hand and placed it in the hand of their God because they lack that human strength. It's been a journey, Father, of discovery. It's been a journey of knowing of the excitement of waking on a new day and seeing what God has on the agenda for that day. Father, today we come 
obedient to your word. We come, Lord, to lay hands upon Frank, to seek the infilling, empowering of your Holy Spirit in every way and form. May, Lord, you fill every nook and cranny of his heart and life. And as he and Lynn journey together to seek and to save those who are lost. Lord, that they will do so in the mighty power of their God. So, Father, we commit them totally to you and pray for Frank's ministry today, that it will always bring honour and glory to you and only eternity, Father, will reveal the fullness of you working through his life. In Jesus' very precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you. 